Hello and welcome back to the QuintonGroup.tv. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So today, i um, got a pretty cool topic. We're going to talk about buyer's remorse. So, interesting. If you're a buyer or seller, something just to listen to to understand buyer's remorse in the process. Before I go into the topic, though, if you are looking to sell your home, simply click the button uh, right here that talks about uh, a free home valuation. If you're looking to search for homes, click the button also to search homes uh, like you would as a realtor in the MLS. So back to the topic. Um, buyer's remorse. Okay, so here's what happens typically right now. What we're thinking is, is if you're a buyer and you're looking to buy a property, buy anything, whatever it may be, you start to think about all the things that are important to you, right? Um, one of the things I, I always recommend is get a, get a piece of paper. One side is all the positives, the other side is the negatives. Draw a line down the middle and start to basically line them out. What's most important to you about buying? List that. What are the disadvantages or, or the issues there? Take a look at it. So now you have that list, you put it to the side and you save it. Now you go out and start to get educated on the market, you start to look at properties, and now all of a sudden you find the one that matches all of the positive things that are out there. And you make an offer, the offer is accepted, next thing you know you're going to celebrate, break out the champagne, congratulations, you're good. All of a sudden, two days later, a day later, all the you know, mortgage companies call in and you need to give them a, a deposit and you've got to go ahead and move forward. Now the remorse starts to sit in, why did I do it? You're saying to yourself, having all these doubtful thoughts, you know, can I afford it? Is it the right time? Um, you know, should I have waited? Um, you know, what happens if I lose my job? You know, we, we, we have this all the time. Here's what we understand, guys. Everyone's going to get remorseful at some point. In fact, the market we're in today, unfortunately, there's buyer remorse many times in our market, and there's seller remorse. Sellers are saying, I wish I sold it for more. Could I have gotten more? Buyers are wishing, hey, maybe I could have got a better deal. There's buyer remorse going on at the same time in the markets that we're still, uh, still um, experiencing. So it's, it's unfortunately it's going to happen. I would just say this, that um, you start out for the reasons. Logically, you started thinking about what was most important to you. Get that sheet of paper back out. Start looking at that if you get remorse. It's normal uh, to have this and it has happened, but you've got to sit down and logically uh, start to see, okay, why was it important to me in the first place? And look at those positive thoughts and not worry about the fear because fear is always going to creep into our mind. Um, fear is what uh, typically keeps us from a lot of things. And almost in every case, everything we want is always on the other side of fear, breaking through it. Our mind, unfortunately, is designed to protect, right? Designed to, to protect us. Don't go expand and you're going to get hurt. And, and all these uh, past experiences start to show up. So fear comes in. So remorse does happen. However, if you bust out that list, draw the line down the middle, redo it again. What's positive about it? what's the disadvantages, wherever it may be, and start to look at it. And I think that most times you'll see that your initial thoughts, um, you'll break through that remorse and understand there's a reason why you're doing it. So hopefully that helps. Any questions you have, thoughts, call me. Uh, if we can help in any way, thinking about getting your home on the market or looking to buy a home, give us a call, 609-398-5333. That's the Quentin Group. As always, we look forward to your conversation being the best of our day. Thanks for watching.